Jessica Dean with your evening digital news brief for Monday, March 5th. Tens of thousands of people are still bearing the brunt of last week's nor'easter. The cleanup continues days after that powerful storm brought damaging winds, rain and snow. At last count, roughly 41,000 Pico customers remained without power. The company said it does not expect to have everyone back up and running until midnight Wednesday. The families of three young men murdered in Bucks County last summer have filed wrongful death lawsuits. The civil suits claim the parents of one of the suspects, Cosmo Denardo, neglected to safeguard their gun even though they knew their son had serious mental health issues. Denardo and his cousin Sean Kratz were charged in the murders of four young men. The bodies were found buried on a farm in Solberry that's owned by Denardo's parents. It was back to court today for Bill Cosby. At a pretrial hearing, his defense team attempted to stop some of his accusers from being allowed to testify at his sexual assault retrial. Prosecutors want to call as many as 19 women to the witness stand. That hearing continues tomorrow. Jury selection is scheduled to begin March 29th. Today was the first day on the job for full-time armed police officers at Cherry Hills Public Schools. Last week, hundreds of students and parents filled a Cherry Hill School Board meeting to discuss their safety concerns. The township will pay for officers to patrol all 19 of its schools through June. Remember, you can always get the latest on these stories and more right here on CBSPhilly.com. For the Evening Digital Brief, I'm Jessica Dean.